Hi, this is James and Frederica. And we're the Sarahways family. We are a family of three kids, two adults, one dog, five chickens, and one bunny. And we live in an urban homestead in San Diego. Just five minutes from the freeway, 10 minutes from downtown. We live on a standard city lot. It's just 6,000 square feet, and we grow fruit and vegetables everywhere uh, on the front, on the back, and the side of the house. In fact, we grow about 80% of the food we eat. Yeah, on our homestead, we actually grow 30 different kinds of uh, vegetables and herbs and 15 different kinds of fruit and berries. And the reason that we're growing our own food is A, it actually allows us to eat package-free food, B, it actually allows us to eat the freshest with the wrist, and C, it actually makes us a very sustainable family and our food has a very low carbon footprint. And the only food we really need to buy, we still try to get package free either from the farmer's market or when we need to buy dry goods like oats and rice, we buy them in big 25 or 50 pound uh, bags from our f local co-op. So we've been zero waste since 2016 when James here decided that we're going to remove our trash can and, and he said, where is zero waste family? So basically, zero waste means that we do not bring anything into our home that actually will cause us to have trash. So we haven't taken our trash out for yeah, since 2016, actually, making his job much easier. So for us, the motto is if we can't compost it or reuse it, we simply won't buy it. That's right. And so that means that we make a lot of our own things at home. For instance, household cleaners, which is way cheaper to make on your own and not nearly as complicated as you think. Obviously, as we said, we grow our own food. And when we do need to buy things, say like a toy for the kids or a birthday present or something we need in the house, we really try to buy things secondhand whenever we can. And I have to say, people always ask, it's impossible to be zero waste with kids. Well, we, are, we have proven that that's actually not the case because our kids are 14, 10, and eight. And the majority of their clothes, except underwear and shoes and socks, are bought used. And same thing with the toys. So either we, we buy it used or we borrow things or we actually trade with friends. And the kids just love it. And our kids are not suffering from that at all. That's right. In fact, I think they, and, and we really engage them um, in all aspects of our life. So they get engaged with the garden, which uh, in this last year they've been homeschooling. It's actually become an important part of their education from everything from biology to science to just having fun with bugs in the garden. So being zero waste and a sustainable family, I feel like the, the biggest thing is that we actually influence our kids. We really, I can tell that we'd be the best role models and we just role modeling behaviors that we want them to, when they become adults, that they're gonna go out and do. And it is all about saving the planet. But also, you know, kids in generally have a little bit of anxiety about climate change because, you know, no matter how you try to hide it, they know there is climate change happening in the world and that must be so scary for them. Well, what better way to show that you take steps every day to ease their fears about climate change. I think it actually makes kids feel better because it feels like they have a part of the solution rather than there's this big scary thing that's happening to the planet and there's really nothing they can do about it. Yeah. So the one thing is that being zero waste is also making us save $18,000 a year. That's a lot of money. We were able to save $18,000 by doing lots of little things. In fact, all of these little things added up over time, which has allowed me to take a step back, work fewer hours so that we've got more time to spend on the things that we care about most, which as parents is really spending time as a family. Let's give you a couple of tips. I recommend, and this is how I started my journey, watch a documentary. The first one that I ever watched was actually No Impact Man, and he made a huge difference in my life, and he got me on this journey. So watch a documentary this Earth Day. Do something crazy. Um, get, uh, give up on paper towels. Do you know that we haven't bought paper towels in 10 years? I added up that that has saved us over $2,000. When I think about cost savings, I don't think about how much it saves us this week or this month. I think about how much it saves us over the long run because that really does add up. And we never run out of paper towels. <laughs> That's the most important. So another tip would be to uh, plant something. Even if you don't have a balcony, we actually started our growing, uh, not in a backyard like this, but actually in a balcony in the winter climate in Sweden. And we just grew outside on our patio. So you can grow no matter how big or small. And even if you don't have a patio, you can still grow things indoors. Plastic 
is everywhere in our society and plastic really pollutes the planet from extraction to development to, well, disposal because it basically never goes away. One of the things I did when we moved our trash can to the other side of the house is it made us think about every time we had something that we needed to recycle or throw away, how can we stop bringing this into the house? So look at all of those plastic things in your life and start thinking about how could you swap these out for a non-plastic alternative. And most important, don't try to be perfect. Don't try to do it all at once. No one can do it. It took us many years to get where we are and we're very proud of where we went, but we still make mistakes sometimes and there are bumps in the road and we have to figure things out. But that's what zero wasters are so good at. We are very good at just going with the flow and figure things out. So enjoy the journey, be kind to yourself, be kind to everyone around, else around you, and most important, be kind to the planet.